Drogheda inflicted a fourth defeat in six on Derry at the Brandywell on Friday and were full value for it throughout Gavin Brennan spurning the first of many chances for Mick Cook's side. Derry's lack of consistency lately proving their undoing in the normally reliable Rory Patterson also finding it hard to impress right now. Drogheda, meanwhile, buoyed on by a recent good win over Limerick and through to yet another League Cup final next month, have found their form again. Strongman tactics here from Declan O'Brien and Gavin Brennan quickest to react with Doherty on the deck. 1-0 to the visitors and little really in the way of complaint from former friends and foe alike. The County Loud side approached the second half in equally positive fashion, although Brennan's cross evaded the crowded box, Cassidy could have done better with the shot. Derry can only be at fault for Drogheda's second goal, slack at the back really, Cassidy jinking it through for Ryan Brennan to run onto, a little shove in the back from McElhaney, and penalty says referee Alan Kelly. Protests apart, the decision was made, harsh as it might have seemed. Brennan, though, able to dust himself down in order to take the spot kick. He inflicted maximum damage, tucking it right into the corner. Indeed, Drada could have had far more on the night. Philip Han's free kick found the head of Gavin Brennan here. He was unable to hit the mark. Derry, to their credit, didn't give up right to the end. They should have got one back, a powerful header from McBride, just off the mark. But it was to be Drogheda's night, and one certainly for the Brennans. Gavin Brennan denied here, yet again by another fine save from Doherty. The result leaves Derry tithering out of the title race. Full-time Derry nil, Drogheda two. Every game's crucial, um, but things can change very quickly. Um, you know, it is a bitterly disappointing night for us, but at the same time, I'm very proud of what the players have achieved so far this season. They've worked very, very hard for us. They've worked very, very hard for the club. But, you know, there's there's a lot of football to be played yet. We certainly won't be thrown on the tile. The 11 draws have killed us as regards to our league position, but, like, it's uh, as I said, we have been playing well for a long time. We just weren't getting the just rewards. But certainly the last couple of weeks, we've been well rewarded. We'll talk about Drogheda in a moment, but Liam, what does that defeat do to Derry's title challenge? Well, for me, I, th I think it puts an end to it, to be honest. Sure. I think Declan Devine has said there that he, he still thinks that they're on, they can have a shout with it, but I think their home form this season has really let them down. You know, I think it's six defeats in a row now at home in the league, and uh, you know, outside that there, the performance on Friday night wasn't good enough. They suggest that they can get out of it and go and win the next six or seven games, because I think that's what you're going to need. I think uh, at this stage of the season, they just seem to be lacking a bit of confidence. Um, as I say, they're not scoring enough goals, they're conceding too many. And uh, on Friday night, I think, physically, Drahada just were, were too much for them. You know, they, they were on their faces from the first whistle and the Derry players couldn't cope with it. And we saw you on the VT, you were at the game the other night, but why would they be lacking confidence, do you think? I think um, I think once they lost a couple of players, you know, I think Kevin Deary going out doesn't, hasn't helped them. I think Kevin could be out for a long time. Um, I think Barry Malloy has been out injured. They've chopped and changed. The left back position has been a. I think they're on their fifth left back now, Owen Osborne playing yeah. there now. And I think uh, Stuart Greeson being out as well hasn't. There's players have lost a bit of form and uh, just at the wrong stage of the season. Yeah. Pat, how would you go about giving that group back the confidence? Um, I'd expect more from the senior players. Um, you know, you've got a lot of young players, which really all goes well for the future. But you know, your future in football is your next match, isn't it? Your future is now. And you know, when you play up in the Brandywell, you're not just playing the game. You've got to play the stadium, because you know it's a bit. Like, it's a bit like Cork. You got to Derry, and you know the great players of the past are pulling on, have pulled on that jersey, and been magnificent in the one that you're given. So that expectation is always not too far away. And I think that it's time for this team, perhaps now they'll prosper, the fact that people are writing them off. You know, there are still 33 more points to, to play for, or 30 points to yeah, play for, 20, yeah. 27 points to play for. You know, it goes to 24, 20. Forget about all that nonsense and just concentrate on winning the next game. And now when you're written off, if you can put two or three wins together, you know, you'll see a lot of the top teams playing each other. There'll be a draw here, a draw there, and try and pick off the points. I think what's difficult, though, is when you've got three teams ahead of you. You know, some of them will lose points, but not all of them will. And, uh, you know, I just, 
I just, with so many great young players, I just love to see the city and the stadium just get behind this team and see what they can do instead of, you know, the normal old negative nonsense. I, th I just think it's, uh, what's disappointing for everybody is they get off to such a great start, put themselves on a great position, they go and challenge for it. I think if they had a made a run now, coming now at this stage of the season where they're, they've moved on to fourth place, everybody would be going right with a chance. Yeah. But I think because uh, they got themselves on a great position, and the players never grasped it. I think that's what's disappointing everybody up there, you know, and they just feel like last season as well too, the league form, and it's just petering out again. So I think, you know, as Pat says, bad results bring on a lot of negativity. Everybody but, can be disappointed. Yeah. Can't you? you spend your whole life being disappointed. When do, when's a team need support? Is it when you're top of the league, when everyone comes and says, I'll have a look at that and yeah. let's get on this bandwagon? You know, let the great pe people of Derry, you see what they created... Uh, the weekend of the flacky all and, and, and the passion, the energy. Get behind this young team if you want to bring the glory days. It's too late once the team's successful. It's now that this young team needs the city of Derry to, be show, to show how important this team is and how much respect they've got you know, for this team trying to bring back the good days. Stop being... Everyone's disappointed. Go out, fill the brandy well, get it back to the rocking Randy Brandy well <laughs> and see what a difference that will make to the team. <laughs> How do you follow that? Yeah. Um, talk to me about Drogheda United. Has a corner lane been, been turned for them? I, th I think so. I think, uh, as Mick said, they, they, a lot of draws it's, it's hampered their league position. But you could see, even I, I wasn't at the, the League Cup game semi final as well, too, where they were too strong for Derry. And you could see they, that hunger back where last season they were really putting it up to teams uh, on their faces, making it hard. You know, they're not the best team in the world. They don't play a lot of football, they play a lot of percentage football. But when they do it, they do it really well. And the Derry team just couldn't cope with it physically. And uh, I think uh, at the end, they were worthy winners and they could have ran out more. OK, guys, thanks. Uh, that's it for part two. We will be back very shortly with all the rest of the weekend's matches.